what's up guys welcome back once again it is me molt and we have got a new series for you guys as you can see on the side of the screen right now we are doing some high level high loot farming uh, in the new clan eliminate farms uh this is my first one of my first attacks in the clan we get a whole lot of resources that is what i'm talking about <clears throat> we've got a couple in here from clan mates looks like we've got about five total raids for you guys um so I'm super, super stoked about this. Most of us are going to be using barge and things like that. Um, I feel like that's what I generally use when I farm, except for when I want to use um, loons like this. So I'm using loons here, and it is definitely worth it. We've already got 1,700 Dark Elixir, and we are going in for more. You can see all that Dark Elixir at the bottom. We are bringing it up. We are over 3,000 Dark Elixir now, over 200,000 gold, 180,000 Elixir moving on up. And of course, guys, we are going to get that ridiculous Masters bonus. Obviously, I wish I got that Champs League bonus, but Masters League, you get 100,000 of each. Um, we're going to go ahead and get the 50% on this, obviously, so that we can uh, so that we can get that, that loot bonus that I was just talking about. So we're going to drop our queen down right there. We're going to take out the rest of that gold. And then she's going to get in here inside the base and take out the rest of that elixir for me as well. She's going to knock out that uh, builder's hut and then go crazy on that elixir storage. We're going to end that battle right there. Look at that loot. Almost 4,000 dark elixir and doing work. Let's move on to Josh. Um, he got lucky with this find, guys. Lucky with this find. He's in Crystal 3. Um, as you can see and fixing to go to town on that so he's got a giant healer raid going on uh, because this guy's uh, air defenses uh, everything about this base is miserable except for the fact that it has awesome loot on it so Josh is up in here with his healer and his healer is doing just fine there aren't any air defenses in range uh, this guy's only got two no he's got three air defenses um, and we are just going to town on his base right now uh, just completely wrecking it he's already got <clears throat> he's already got a good amount of the loot just working his way around spreading in his heroes now with the rest of his barch and they are about to go after that elixir storage um, the healer is down I believe she's been down for a little bit uh, and there he goes so he's got three hundred and eighty seven thousand elixir two hundred and still going up with the gold two hundred and ninety something two hundred and eighty six thousand gold not that much dark elixir but there is some at the bottom of the map so let's see if he's able to make his way down there um, down there to that dark elixir that inferno tower is doing some serious work but it's already got too many targets so the queen takes it down right there. They're going to continue working their way around. The king is down there at the bottom of the map, uh, taking out that mortar. And then here they come. I'm surprised there are still giants alive. Um, that's ridiculous. But his heroes are his heroes are crushing this base. I just realized this guy has trees inside of his base. That's actually kind of cool. That reminds me of some of the original art from Clash of Clans. You would see uh, pictures of that. But this guy, Josh, crushes this base, guys. Let me see it in the comments, crushing it. If you guys are stoked about this series and all this loot, let me see you crushing it and a like down in the comments, all right? So he completely annihilated that base. Here goes another one from Josh. Josh actually is going to have two spots in this video, but we are going to have so many more videos from my clan mates and myself, guys, just showing off the kind of loot that we are going to be getting in this new clan of ours. Um, if you guys haven't watched that video, definitely go check it out. Just talking about the new clan. Um, where it's, it, I'm going to make it a high level clan. So it's level 100 uh, plus and you need at least level 6 uh, barch. You also need uh, level 8 walls minimum and uh, at least 4 million gold grabs. So uh, moving on up with this. I'm super excited about this clan. Again guys, we've got this awesome raid going on right now. Now this one's a little bit harder than some of the other ones because uh, the resources are actually inside the walls. So the Barbarians aren't going to do that good of a job at helping except for tanking. So um, in the other ones, the Barbarians could actually do damage and collect resources. But in this one, it's going to be a little bit hard for them to do so. Now, Josh does have wall breakers. It looks like this is the strategy that he rolls with um, is a giant healer style raid with um, Barch mixed in. So gets the giant in there, drops off those goblins. That is great, great work. That is a really good strategy, guys, to use is wall breakers, giants, and goblins. 
um, and just get your giants up in there distracting and doing work. Now you can see that this guy's uh, inferno towers are empty as well as his expo. So finding dead bases is one of the best things that you can do. Uh, now it is a little hard to do sometimes, but if you search long enough, you'll definitely find somebody who's been off for even 24 hours. If you're off for 24 hours, uh, there is going to be a lot of loot in your collectors for people to steal. Um, so yeah, you gotta stay active. Otherwise, if you're gone, people are gonna jack all your loot. Um, so he's already got 200,000 gold right here. 190, 200,000. Keep on working up with the loot, taking it all from these collectors uh, right over here. Um, he's probably gonna break that three. Yep, there he goes. Breaks that 300,000 gold. Goodness, that's a lot of gold. Uh, just completely crushing it. Um, <clears throat> still working his way around the base. Uh, he's got his queen left over. A couple of giants working their way in there. Now, all that's left, he dropped his uh, queen in the bottom corner. She's gonna go take out that dark elixir in that, uh, in that drill right there. And there's only 36 of it left, and I believe that that is going to be inside of that <coughs> of that Dark Elixir storage. So the queen is going to work her way on around and take out this last Elixir storage, and that is it. Look at that loot, guys. Woo! That's some good loot. I'm jealous of Josh right now. <laughs> so now we've got Martin. Guys, Martin is ridiculous. Look in the clan, look at his base, and go look at his gold grab, all right? Go to my clan. Uh, eliminate farms and look up Martin's gold grab. It's gonna blow your mind. Um, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that it's him that I'm thinking of. So this was his from the clan that he was in before, but he's now in our clan and super, super stoked to be in here. Uh, crushing it with this Barch right here, not even using any of his spells yet. 36% uh, and working his way up with the loot. He's only got his king with him too, so he really, really trusts his barching ability, but hey, I mean, barch is life, right? Barch is love, barch is life. Let me see that down in the comments as well, guys. Uh, 200,000 gold right there, 199,000 elixir, and almost 3,000 dark elixir with barch. With barch, guys. He didn't even get inside the walls and he got that much dark elixir. There's still 3,000 left inside there, um, but I mean, you can't really do anything about it. So he's gotta get that 50%. Um, I believe that he might drop off, uh, he, d <laughs> he does in fact use his lightning spells on the Dark Elixir, but I believe that uh, we fly on through that. So he's going to take out that last gold mine right there, get that loot bonus, um, and then we are going to move on. You can see that he absolutely annihilated that. We've also got Raw. This was uh, from his clan right before he joined ours. Um, this base is super well upgraded that he's attacking, um, but the defenses are pretty far away from the walls, uh, especially the range ones, so he's able to barge and get a good amount of, of the buildings and percentages off of this thing. So he's already about, he's breaking 200,000 gold right there, still working his way up. Uh, 226,000 elixir and moving on up. Over 2,000 dark elixir, guys. I am so excited for showing y'all all of the loot that we are going to be getting in this clan. This clan is going to be getting so much loot, it is going to be absolutely crazy. Um, yeah, <laughs> if you guys are excited about this as I am, so look at that, 312,000 gold, 226,000 elixir, that 44%, gotta get those heroes in there to help take out the rest of those percentages. Um, because especially up in champs where Ra is, you get 180,000 loot bonus, so you don't wanna miss out on that. You gotta get that 50%. Um, so it's funny because you're going for trophies as well when you farm, just so you can get that gnarly loot bonus. Um, so there goes the clan castle right there. The king is down, the queen is up, there goes her ability, and then they are about to get that 50% and that loot bonus. But that's going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like down below for me, and as always, make sure you keep calm and clash on, alright? I'll see you later.